<laughs> Why did it say in peace? Because in our sojourn, we have been so confused. Confused about God, confused about the devil, confused about heaven and hell, confused about the reality of our lives. We're just confused and there's no peace among us. But the scripture says we shall not only come out with substance, but go to our fathers in a state of peace. That means we will have made peace with God by surrendering to his will. We will have made peace with one another by acting in accord with God's laws that make brother and sister to enter into a peaceful condition with one another. So when we go, we don't go confused. We don't go unrighteous. We go home in peace. And guess what? That's exactly the way we went. We came out with substance. We didn't go back playing the fool. We didn't go back acting a fool. We went back with substance. And the greatest substance of all is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It's better than gold and silver because you can't protect gold and silver with foolishness. You can only protect gold and silver and material things with value that is beyond gold and silver. And the value that is beyond gold and silver, of course, is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Well, we went back and we were warmly received by His Excellency, the President, Jerry John Rollins, the president of Ghana. And when you get your latest copy of the Final Call newspaper and you're able to see the beauty of the president, the openness of his heart to receive his brothers and sisters home, the beauty of your African brothers and sisters crying out to us in the language Akwaba, welcome, welcome home. The prodigal son had come home. Well, today I want to talk a little more about what my dear helper and assistant minister uh, Ishmael Muhammad touched on. vision. Brothers, it is a great blessing to be able to see. Jesus opened the eyes of the blind. He gave back to people the gift of sight. Vision is the faculty of sight. It is unusual competence in discernment or perception. That goes beyond looking at a thing. It is looking beyond a thing, looking into a thing so that you have an unusual competence in the ability to discern what others miss. Webster says that a vision is a mental image produced 
by the imagination. Ah, oh, it's deeper than that, Mr. Webster. <laughs> he did the best he could. <laughs> Vision has at its root, as we said uh, on Savior's Day, an idea. An idea is a well developed thought. You know, in the, in the comic books, whenever somebody had a brilliant thought or idea, they would put over the head a light, a bulb. That said, light got turned on in the guy's head. He saw something. He had an idea. But he really didn't have an idea. He had a thought. Because ideas are different from thoughts. <laughs> ideas, like thoughts, exist in the mind, potentially or actually as a product of mental activity. You can't have an idea or thought if your mind is not active. Brain waves on a machine that scans the activity of your mind, of your brain, shows an, an electrical energy in the brain that says, this is alive. Electrical energy in the brain allows the brain to do what the brain is designed to do. Create thought, create image, create pictures. Listen, once you have a thought, that is a concept. When you say, sister has conceived, what do you mean? Sister has conceived. What do you mean? She's pregnant. Right? Conception is not baby. The conception has all the necessary ingredients to make the baby. But now it needs a period of gestation and growth in the darkness of the womb so that conception becomes a fully developed child, baby, fetus. Hmm? When thought germinates in the mind, if you don't continue to think on the thought, I want, to, I want you to hear me. If you don't continue to think on the thought, then the thought without more thought only is a thought that comes and goes. And you will say when somebody else comes up with the thought but thinks on the thought they stole my idea uh, they, I, 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 they stole my stuff they making the money and I ain't got none dirty low down thief wait a minute fool you don't have any corner on thought you don't have any specific corner on imagery 
Many of you have good thoughts, but you do nothing about what you think. So the thought was an opportunity that you blew because you didn't do by the thought what you should have done. You could think on the thought. Thank you. You have to think on the thought. And thinking on the thought is feeding the thought. Then the thought develops into an idea. And that idea has with it a plan, a scheme, a method of fulfilling and concretizing what was a mental image that had potential but now you want to actualize what you have envisioned. But if you even develop the idea or the thought into an idea and still will not work the idea then God will give the idea to somebody else who will fulfill the idea and fulfill the vision brought by the idea. Now, let's go on. 